Hey everybody, Wes here from Scamps Automotive. Today I'm working on a 1998 Chevy Astro van and we have some power steering problems. I wanted to make a video to specifically talk about the way that GM designed their power steering in the 90s and through the early 2000s before they, they finally got rid of it. Um, it's called electronically variable steering and I'll show you how it works. So on the back of the pump here, this is the old pump, you have an electronic solenoid. It has an electrical connector on it that you plug into. And then this right here goes to the power steering pressure line. So what this does is it varies the amount of pressure coming out of the pump. Uh, it takes inputs from the vehicle speed sensor, the steering angle sensor, and basically determines, hey, I need full pressure at low speeds or idle, and then as the speed of the vehicle increases, you, you close the, the orifice closes down and you get less fluid flow coming out of the pump. What it's designed to do is give you a more stiff steering feel at higher speeds where you don't really need the power steering anyway. Uh, the problem with these systems is that electronic solenoid often fails. And so when you're sitting there at idle or low speeds, the thing is not open like it should be, so you, it feels like you basically have no power steering at all. I've seen this commonly misdiagnosed all the time, where people throw one, two, three, four pumps at it because they just figure, well, I got a bad pump from the store. What the heck is going on? So if you have a problem with a 90s to early 2000s GM vehicle, no power steering at low speed or idle, try replacing that solenoid first and actually the aftermarket developed a design to just eliminate it completely and all it is is you can buy the kit it's about 60 bucks 60 70 bucks online instead of having this solenoid coming out of the the pump it's just a j-shaped uh, a hook shaped pipe that comes out and then hooks around and you thread the pressure line into the original place it is effectively eliminating the solenoid completely eliminating all that nonsense and makes your power steering work like it should I just replaced it on this Astro van here and the thing is steering great now so for me I replaced the whole pump uh, from O'Reilly specifically they have an option you can buy just the pump or you can buy the pump with the Evo which is the electronic variable orifice and it's actually just that hook shake pipe which eliminates the solenoid so I would always suggest getting it with the Evo it's only like twenty dollars more and it'll make sure that it fixes the problem if you don't want to do that like I said you can just buy the kit alone with the pipe try that before throwing a pump on it there's a good chance that's your problem from Scamps Automotive Keep on wrenching.